All right, so I've already set this one up and I've done the hierarchical linking. So I started at the far end. So that's a child of that. That's a child of that. That's a child of that. That is a child then of that. And down to there, we're down to there. And then down to there. So there you go. So if I open up my hierarchy, there we go. There it is. It's everything there. They should be connected. Okay. So as with basic hierarchical linking, since I'm demonstrating what, what why your objects may distort, I'm not. I'm just going to put some animation on here. So there it goes. So what should happen? Um, so something like come in here like this. So I really only want that to rotate and you know I come in and I can lock these. They're locked now. So there it goes. So if I pick that and I want to rotate it, that rotates like that. Great. But it's not going to rotate any other way but what I want it to. Okay. And I think I'll do the same thing here. So I use this. And I only really want this to rotate in the X. I'm going to lock Y and zero. So Y and yeah, there we go. Lock that. There we go. So now, and as you can see, as I because they're linked like that, so it's hierarchical linked. Everything should follow each other. There we go. I'm also going to lock that. There it goes. And everything, because it's hierarchical linked, I, even though that they're limited in what they can do, they can still be rotated around like that. So that works fine. Okay? And there's no problems with it. So if I want to add keyframes to this, I'm being very bad and not putting it on a controller. I can do keyframes. I, I could do all sorts of stuff. Okay? So... Um, you know, so I could go just to say I add a keyframe there. And, you know, it's fine. There's no distortion. Now, <clears throat> if I come over here, let's have a look. Is there a difference? Aha. That is a common problem. Finally. Why is it acting like that? Okay. So I might have given the answer away. So that's exactly what you don't want. You don't want that sort of weird deformation scale going on. So if I come over to my other thing here, and even if I tend to offset everything, I'm going to do the same just to show you. It's going to build up some various rotations here. Yeah. And that's what you want. So you want it to just rotate and not distort your geometry. Whereas with this one, we are we have a problem. Now the problem is, so what you want to do is unparent this and get rid of, hold on, there we go, non-uniform scale in the hierarchy, okay? That's what I thought. Shift P should unparent them. Shift P to unparent these. So nothing should now be parented. All right, so there you go. So there is a non uniform scale on that part of it. So wherever there's a non-uniform scale, the ch children of that will not deform correctly. So if you look here and freeze, so you come under here, modify, freeze, transforms. And that takes everything back to basically zero. Okay. No yana. So we're okay with the translate and stuff. I might as well just, I'll freeze the transforms here. So that brings everything into zero. There you go. And you don't want any non-uniform scale there. So I'm going to freeze the transforms. There you go. None there. 
than there. So I'm looking just in the scale, non-uniform scaling is the big thing that causes it. There you go. There you go. Translates okay. Doesn't seem to run down the thing. So let's just see if this works. So if I come to here, so I pick the child and the parent, hit P, child, parent, P, child, parent, P, down to here. Okay, very good. So now, I mean, these worked up here anyway, so that's okay. So I just come here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now, please don't distort. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That's acting exactly the way it should. So, by taking the non uniform scale out of this, the child object now is, is okay.